Hey guys, this is Diape and I am back with another video. The dangers in exploring yourself before marriage. It takes out all of the that God made for us to experience and explore with our partner. Another thing is the soul ties that is created with the people that you are having um, thought about doing these things too. You create a soul tie with them. So nine out of ten, you go back to that video, you go back to that picture, you go back to that person, or you find another one, and it's just like it's just the same thing as you're entering them because that's how you have to put your mind into masturbating. Exploring yourself gives you knowledge about what you like and what you don't like. Sex was given to us for us to explore through marriage, through a covenant, through another human being, man and woman. With us both having um, our virginities, whereas though that's why you supposed to wait into marriage to lose your virginity that can be a hindrance to your husband your wife your spouse due to the fact that you know more you know what you like now and etc if you already have that knowledge of what you like and what you dislike then your partner is missing out the lessons with you you're also keeping the thoughts of i did that before and i don't want to do that again whereas though god like for us to be clean he likes for us to come in pure and not understanding he likes to teach us as we go and that's the room that you're supposed to create with your husband or with your wife one thing god don't never want us to do is explore our bodies before we're supposed to so before the marriage is sealed he don't want us having sex with that partner before the marriage is even um cultivated he don't want us um knowing what we like he want us to go through that process with a person that we are supposed to be with he want us to go through that experience with him he want us to be holy and pure purify your bodies is what he always tell us because you have free will but free will don't mean that it's right so if you want to live a happy fulfilled life i suggest you to do with the purified life if you want a great marriage, if you want an everlasting marriage, if you want hold yourself until you get that right person. Hold yourself and ground yourself in the knowledge that you will get to experience this sexual encounter with your husband, with your spouse, with your wife. Never think that you're going to do something just because you have the free will to. Exploring yourself before marriage can always become a dependent so then inside your marriage you're looking at this person like you're not doing what i need you to do or i need you to do this because i already felt that experience and i want to feel that again no everything is supposed to always be freshly made in your marriage and everything that you do is always supposed to be freshly made because having a copy of what you already done isn't good for the person that you're with isn't good for you isn't good for your sanity isn't good for your nature your single season always affect what you know now in your relationship i hope that you guys enjoyed this video like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye